Welcome to AI in Practice. This time we want to focus on pains and gains of personas and value proposition. Value proposition design in somehow. Our main logic and imperative in designing digital offerings embraces the three key aspects. Desirability, feasibility and viability. Um, Viability in terms of do benefits customers willingness to pay justify the cost of the implementation? Desirability, does the solution provide better benefit and valuated users and cost savings? And feasibility is the technology second. Can required functionally can be actually implemented with a manageable cost. One of the approaches how to slice and how to define this value propositions on feasibility desirability and viability is called value proposition design. A clear value proposition addresses the pains and gains from specific customers and there are toolings and systematics out there which helps you. A clear value proposition addresses the pains and gains of a specific customer persona and we define that based on the value proposition design. We differentiate between two different aspects. On the one side, talking about personas, specific persona um, that have specific jobs to be done. What does the persona have to accomplish? Uh, how does the persona accomplish her jobs and tasks? What is the pains and what are the gains? So what are the frustration points? What does the work and causes frustration? And what is, you know, additionally to the current solution, something that helps the persona in fulfilling um, their job. Jobs to be done, current solution, frustration, pains and gains and happiness and gain reliever are something that um, is of importance in designing a customer specific persona. On the other side, do you accompany that with the value proposition design? Meaning in how can one or more of the pains be actually relieved? Which additional value can be generated as a gain creator? And what is the value proposition statement and value proposition design that you can enable that your customer gains the benefits through your offering? This fuels then in the end a typical existing product solution uh, with more updates, new product solutions um, based on the AR principles. Well, Value proposition design is, is kind of a nice and uh, applicable to all digital formats and they've seen quite some you know, canvases out there from strategizer to, to the Bismo aspect. I love also the aspects um, of the designs of Boring, um, which defines it as the minimum justifiable improvement in AI. That means you start in the first place with a why. Why are you doing things and what is the objective that you are targeting? What is the right problem? What are the constraints? What is good enough? What are the key drivers of performance? What do you need to improve actually in order that you or your client gets a bonus? Second aspect is the how. In what kind of business processes do we need to integrate this? Which process does it change? Where is it integrated, right? In the third aspect is then how does it look like? How is the customer interacting with your AI systematic? How do you increase the convenience? User experience and user interface design are of vital importance because only if a customer and or user can click on a button, can use your application, it provides the modeling. Fourth is then the data perspective, right? Do we need the data? What kind of data do we need? Do we need to improve on existing features? Do we need to connect new data sources? And last but not least, then actually the modeling. You know, finding the best model, the best solution architecture, the best machine learning aspects that in order to fuel then as an engine your application. So that means you need to quantify the minimum justifiable improvement coming from why to how to what. And don't forget about the user experience your clients and your customers or your users need to make, you know, access on your applications. It's not only about the machine learning methods. The third framework which I would like to introduce is the typical also, it's the AI and data analytics canvas. 
The AI and analytics canvas is similar kind of um, as the value proposition um, canvas. It's structured along four different dimensions, the understanding the business, understanding the environment, understanding the data, and understanding the interaction. So from understanding the business, it guides you with the structure of the problem statement. That means what kind of problem do you want to solve? What is the problem actually translated into the technical aspects? Is it a classification? Is it an automation? What is the technical challenge in there? And the impact evaluation. How do you measure success? These are the questions you, in principle, always need to ask. When are you are successful, right? What needs to happen? What score needs to, what KPI needs to be accessed and, and reached so you are successful? Understanding environment is then focused again on persona, who are the key stakeholders, right? Do we need to talk to IT, OT, business, sales, customers? and the ecosystem. Think about sponsors, promoters, partners that we need to bring on board in your digital solution. Along the line, obviously, with the infrastructure, what kind of compute, what kind of cloud environment you are uh, running in. Understanding the data goes then deep down into, you know, what kind of features, you know, the customer, sometimes the domain owner, um, or sometimes the IT um, contact person will provide you and say like, these are the features um, that matter to your modeling aspect, along with the line of where do you get actually the data and, and bring the data collection done. Last but not least, it's about understanding the interaction. Again, user experiences and how to deliver an AI model and AI application. The AI and data analytics canvas helps you asking the right questions on your own solution and or the solution you want to build for your clients. Last but not least, obviously, um, as we are here in the AI lab, right, we have also a Siemens AI lab canvas, uh, which is a bit of a mixture between a value proposition canvas and the machine learning canvas. It's overall just along the line of customer situation, the personas, the jobs to be done, the personas, the pains and gains, along the line with the abstracted use cases, um, which are typical use cases uh, that we see along the line, which are patterns along on recommendation, classification, image generation, audio processing, signal processing, predictive maintenance, and so on. These kinds shape then the inspiration of for yourself and or your clients in order to fold into what kind of data to be used, data types um, and data storages, is it time series data, is it image data, is it text based data, and defining then the actual machine learning task. Is it a regression, is it a classification, is it a recommendation? Along with the, the ML output, the output what the uh, system and your AI application should actually you know, uh, spin out. Is it a, a recommendation, is it an image, is it uh, one to zero? Um, this fuels then in, in the so-called value proposition, a statement about what's the actual value of your AI application along the line with the action plan and stakeholder needed to pursue the next step. So, to sum up, you've learned now in this session three different approaches for value proposition design in AI. The importance of personas, jobs to be done, and gain reliever. The data analytics canvas, understanding the environment. And the AI canvas, as understanding the machine learning tasks to be performed. Dive deeper in the supplemented material.